And uh, what's your name again? Okay. Isaiah. Okay, Isaiah. Maldonado? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I'm doing this. It's for one of the classes I'm taking at Valencia. It's called New Student Experience. Yeah. And they want us to like, get familiarized like, with the careers we want to go into. Like, the classes basically like, help you be successful in college and like oh, wow. help you with all that. And so, this STEM, or the class is a STEM class. Like, specifically for that, for like people who are interested in like science, technology, engineering, and math. Excellent. And so one of this the- is Valencia College? Valencia College, yeah. yeah. And so they asked us to find a professional in the field that we want to go into. Yeah. And I mean, the professor already knows, like I spoke to him before, and he knows that like, what I want to be is I want to be an astronaut. Yeah. And so I remember I have spoken with you a long time ago. Yeah. It was through Tom Jones. Yeah. I spoke through him. Excellent. I spoke with him and he told me that, oh, I have a friend who lives because he asked me where I lived, and I was like, I was like in Kissimmee, and he let me, I was like, oh, I have a friend who lives in Kissimmee. Yeah, there you go. And so then when he, when they assigned this homework, I was like, you were the first person that came to mind. Was, you know, someone that I was hoping that I'd be able to schedule uh -huh. something with. And so uh -huh. I have some questions here yeah. that I'm going to ask you just yeah. about your career and that. And so our first question is, like, I mean, what was your job title and position, and how long did you have that one? I was... Uh, astronaut for NASA for 30 years, 1967 to 1997. Like how did you land this position? I saw uh, an announcement of opportunities on the bulletin board. Well, no. I read in Science Magazine they were going to get a scientist astronaut program together. But then when they got that program together, I saw on the bulletin board an announcement of opportunity. So if you want to apply, you write to this address, and NASA will send you an application in 1966. And so like through all these 30 years that you spent over there, like what was like the thing that you enjoyed most about being an astronaut? I enjoyed the flying business. I was a pilot. So I, working in Mission Control was, uh, I did 25 missions in Mission Control. That was really rewarding. I loved doing that. I love flying in space too. So I mostly the uh, flying the airplane and flying in space and uh, working in Mission Control. Yeah, I wanna, I've always wanted. I've flown a plane before. It was. It was program. It was like ROTC for the Air Force. That's nice. And they let me fly a plane one, like two years ago. Yeah. And like, I think since then, I, I really love flying. Like it's just it's an oh, awesome experience. Yeah, go out to the airport. Yeah. Pump gas. That's <laughs> where a lot of people got started, pumping gas at the airport. Yeah. And so, like, referring to as an astronaut, was it like a team environment, or was it like, did you work independently? There is no independence. It's always team. Always team. And so, like, how did this in, like, how did this style impact your work? Like, was it a challenge or support you? Oh, oh. Uh, who, who, the team? Yeah. Well, I mean, it was somewhat challenging, but it's not the pressure that a lot of people perceive. I had a very relaxed time the whole trip. So, but. The team is always supportive. You've got space people, and they're very good. Yeah. I mean, I think about it, and it, it, it helps a lot when you have a team, you know, to help you in other uh -huh. situations that go up. I suppose there's some competition, too. Yeah, that is well. And so, like, with all that being said, I've always been least to or not part of the job. I don't like doing paperwork. <laughs> There's a, there were like a lot of paperwork for like each mission? No. No, there wasn't much paperwork. That's probably why I stayed so long. Oh. Uh, no, there wasn't that much paperwork, but I, I just don't like paper. I like action. I like mm -hmm. flying the airplane. I like getting in the simulator. I like training, you know, flying in space and mission control. So I like action. So. Yes. Pretty good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So another one is, um, like, what was your major in college? Um, I started out in mathematics and statistics, 
first degree in uh, computers. Operations research was my second degree. Chemistry was my third. Medicine was my fourth. Physiology, fifth, sixth was biological physics, and then I went on to literature. So I know many degrees do Seven. Yeah, about ten. And like, where did you get uh, most of these majors that were called? Did you get to? I went to um, Syracuse University, UCLA, Marietta College. Columbia University, University of Kentucky, and University of Houston. And uh, can you please describe like the, well, basically the career path that you had to become in that eventually led up to becoming an astronaut? <clears throat> I started as a farm kid. <clears throat> I learned mechanics as a farm kid. Drove everything, fixed everything. Then I was uh, in the Marines in Korea. Airplane mechanics started flying with the Marines. Majored in mathematics, statistics, drove tanks with the active reserve. Then it was computers and operations research, it's called. Then it was chemistry, then it was medicine, neurosurgical research. Then it was physiology and biological physics, then I was in the program, and the other ones came after I was in the program. Like, for people that are like me that are interested in becoming an astronaut, like, what would you recommend like, steps to take in order to become an astronaut? Follow your heart and follow your gut. So, I, mean, I can't tell you what to do because I don't know you and I don't know where your heart is. And you don't want to follow what I say. Because you may end up someplace you don't like and it won't go well. So there's, there's a whole bunch of different paths. There's a lot of different paths. So you know, Aeronautics and flying and there's a whole bunch of different sciences and technologies. So there's a whole lot of different things. You can look at the astronaut selection. So they have a website. You go to Google, NASA astronaut selection, and you will be led right to there. And they will have a list of things which they have a priority for. I like that. I like what you said first is to follow your and follow your guests. Because a lot of people, they decide to just do what other people tell them and then it leads them to places where they don't want to go. That's exactly right, yes. yes. You know, so it's follow. always, what should I do? Follow your heart and follow your gut. And that's more important than where your head is. It's more important than your head. I teach that all the time. Don't follow your head. Your head doesn't know the answer. That's got the answer. It's hard for people to understand. You got to feel good about it. Yeah, I've always felt like when I was little, or what really first got me interested in becoming an astronaut, when I was around seven years old, one of my aunts gave me a dictionary, and on the on the cover of it, it had a space shuttle. Mm. And that's when I started reading into like space shuttles and all that. Mm. And like ever since then, it's always been like something that I've always wanted to do. Uh huh. Because I've always been pursuing it. Keep a lot of options open. Yeah. You know, right now, I'm hopefully you know, in the process of actually transferring to MIT yeah. to study there. And I want to major in astrophysics and planetary science. Yeah, that's great. And that's what I love to do. Uh huh. Math, that's good. That's good, great, yeah. That's yeah. a great school. Yeah. So, I, mean, I think it's pretty much sums up the questions they have for me. Okay. Yeah.